My name is Shanil Dina. Um, I've been at the Hilton Garden Inn in Gaborone uh, since 2021. Um, I've been a chef for uh, almost 20 years. My favorite Botswana dish is actually two. I love uh, the fact that when I when I got to Botswana, I didn't think Siswa was going to be as good as it is, and I think uh, it's a it's a, a tribute to the quality of the beef uh, here in Botswana. Um, it's amazing. Uh, the dish is so simple. Uh, it has so much flavor. It highlights um, the the meal. It, it highlights the beef itself, the product, uh, which I find is um, is what's most important about food. Uh, so definitely uh, goat and siswa. The one that uh, I've done now recently is um, uh, with uh, siswa as well, right? Um, we've done two uh, adaptations. We've done one which is Mexican. It's, uh, it's got a, a taco component to it. So it's a siswa taco. Um, it's done in the traditional style of a, ta uh, of a taco, but the, the filling has uh, siswa on the inside. Um, goes re uh, amazing with the, with the cheese, with a spicy salsa, uh, a little bit of avocado, and um, uh, just some fresh greens and the coriander. It's got an excellent flavor. So that's one that we've uh, uh, played with. There's also um, a Korean dish um, that's a, a play on a bao bun. Uh, we've used uh, a traditional steam uh, bread dough from uh, Botswana. Um, uh, I think it's uh, madumbi. So we've used madumbi dough instead of a, a Korean bao bun um, recipe. Uh, so using ma the madumbi dough, we make a, a bao bun. Um, we then do um, pulled beef, so similar to the siswa. And we serve it with uh, uh, pickled cabbage. Um, and also a little bit of a spicy mayonnaise that goes over the top. So that for me is, a, is an excellent flavor. It's, it speaks to local, but also incorporates some international style uh, within the dish. And I think uh, from, my, from my side as a chef, I always want to um, allow local ingredients to shine. Um, that's most important. So wherever I've worked, um, I've tried always my best to incorporate what's most local um, and make it unique to the property uh, with a spin that has uh, some international um, aspects to it. Um, also trying to be a little bit uh, trendy in terms of food as well, uh, because food is such a, 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 a big uh, topic. These days, I would say over the last 10 years, it's become huge.